Andrew here, and today I'm going to show you guys everyone how to downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 10 and iOS 10 through iOS 8 using the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, the iPad 4, the fourth generation iPad, and uh, the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad. Yeah, except for the layer one, the layer ones, and the iPad Air was the first one. And this, for all, I'll be using the iPhone 5S. So, proof it. Let's go to settings. General. About. And he's, and he's going to burn out my iPhone, the 5 by iPhone the 5s is definitely running the latest 12.5.5 for the i for the i for the sell your miles the iPad a, iPad 4 generation iPad it does is 10.3.4 and 10.3.3 works as well all the devices and yeah, so this does not work with the iPhone 5C because it's because by cam or iPhone 5 can so so let's first and show you links first open up uh, Safari because this. This website is called GitHub, and it says it's called Lead Down. This comes called Lead Down. It's Lead Down. Lead Down is a GOI Mac OS app to downgrade compatible A6 and A7 device to OTI signed firmware. Latest compiled version can be found here. Here are the devices. We'll see which is the iPhone 4, iPad 4, iPhone 5S, iPad Mini 2, excluding the model with the J878P in the iPad Air. Lee Down can run with Mac OS High Sierra and later Mac OS Big Sure. <sighs> there should be a Windows Sport at some point. First, you'll need the IPSW. First, download the latest version, which is go right here. Click on this one, the latest one's point two, and all you need is the 10.3.3 IPSW. First thing is the iPhone select uh selecting the five S GSM. The only firm firmware sign the only version that's signed for our well, iPhone five S is twelve point five point twelve point five point five is the only version that's being signed. None of these are not being signed anymore, so we're gonna select a 10.3.3 not signed so like download so I'll be right back when the download is finished all right now I'm back all right now the firm I'm back in the firmware is all finished downloading and also added some other links where you can download the IPS so you for for device. those are your only IP Best for iPad 4, 5, 5, 4, Wi-Fi, G5, 5, i5, C, etc. And, and there are all the firmwares that are, like this is, a, and also I add the link for 8.4.1 IPSWs. I'll be doing another video about, uh, about that another time. So, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> so keep, so, uh, so you'll need, so this, so I'm using, uh, my la new laptop, laptop, it's Asus, Republic of the Gamers, it's, 
this is a Hackintosh external, not a real Mac I'm using because it's Mac OS Mojave I'm using because it's there's some issues with using a from my MacBook Pro Mid 12. I it does not work with, with lead down. I had to use this and it might possibly work. So, what first you do is uh, unlock the first you unlock the phone first then you plug in your your USB cable and go so first we're gonna go to uh, open up first go to, uh, first you gotta let open resets. Oops, sorry, must have watched the wrong program. Program. First, always use a drag lead down. And you drag in the apps folder. And there it is in the app folder for it's launch by you see click. Lead down. First open. First. We're about to put the device into DFU mode. First, you hold down the power button, the home button for a total of 10 seconds. Once sex, 10 seconds is up, you can release the power button and continue down the home button. It's like you're doing for red snow and there's breaks. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have put in the Put in the in the wrong USB ports. It was in my portable charger. Sorry, so I apologize for that. So I'm gonna connect it right now. Yep. See, there you go. See, iPhone 5s GSM is supported. Device info. It says iPhone 5s GSM mile number board configures N5A 1P 1AP ECID. Boot and chip ID and cause the zero ten point two four three. So I'm gonna select the IPSW since I so I already I downloaded the IPSW. So I'm gonna go to downloads and go click on the I was ten point three point three IPSW. It's verifying the IPSW. Extracting IPSW, please wait. You can see it successfully extracted the IPS stub, the IPS stub. So let's go click a uh, downgrade. Let's see. Warning downgrade in your device will destroy, will erase all the data on it. If you, I recommend for you guys make a backup if you care about your data or something. Then you also recommend encrypting so you can have all your health data, all your, uh, Save Wi-Fi passwords, everything. Just recommend don't use unencrypted, so you don't get those things. But the only thing you can lose for the encrypted back is your passcode. 
So you had, or touch to your face ID or something. The face ID does not will go with, only goes with five phones touching only with the eye. Oh, let's say, it's exploring device. Yep, it works. I'm just gonna skip because I have the blob, so I'm gonna click yes. And you might wanna give it a name, so. Apple Silicon C, I'm gonna show you the device how it goes. And you see the screen starting to start process. There's usually like a logo that comes up for lead down. I did try on an iPad Mini 2 before. It did come on the iPad. See when I used the iPad Mini 2 to downgrade it. See the green screen? Maybe it's only available for certain devices. So I restore process. And you see here's this progress bar. So uh, I'll be right back when it's all done restoring and downgrading. All right, now I'm back here and the downgrade is all finished. It says restore succeeded. See, I'm going to show you the iPhone S10 the welcome screen. And there's the progress bar. And there says, uh, hello. Hello. It goes by language. Bonjour. Press o hello. Press on the open. There's no SIM card installed, so I'm not going to worry about it, so. But first, well, that's just, first I had to do my Wi-Fi password. You know, I'll tell you that. This is my watch, so I apologize for that. It takes now. That's not my password. I'm gonna to activate <clears throat> your phone. Enable location services. Set up touch touch ID later. No passcode. No, we're not gonna restore from a backup right now. Set up his new iPhone. And we're going to skip the Apple ID thing. Don't use Siri. My voice control. Get started. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. I might do jailbreak. I had jailbreak. Using for double helix or Meridian. 
or he tays in jailbreak for tays in jailbreak. I'll see, I'll see if I can. First, let's just unplug the device from the computer. And <clears throat> mind, this can only work for Mac computers, not for Windows or Linux, but maybe it's some way that I have for Windows, Windows work because it needs to have specific official drivers by team, but, but right now they're unofficial. So say the good sayings. It might be faster than what I was solving here. General, about, and even for now, the iPhone 5S that is definitely D running iOS 10.3.3. And, yeah. Well, and now I'm going to, so I'll be putting all the links in the description for you guys. I just want to download, uh, to download them without really the type bar. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's how you downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 10 or iOS 10 to iOS 8, 8 on, the, on, your, on the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C maybe, the iPad 4 generation, the iPad 4, 4 generation, the iPad, the iPad mini 2, except for a one layer model, and the iPad Air was the first iPad Air only, not the second or third one. So, if you have any suggestions, please leave the comments down in the section below. If you have anything to say, I meant, hey, <coughs> sorry, it's my throat. So, so yes. So, remember to rate, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and bye.